arithmetic progression. Suppose we have numbers a1, a2, a3, a4 and so on till n terms. We say that these numbers are in AP or arithmetic progression if the difference between two consecutive terms is same. That is the difference of the first two a2 minus a1 is equal to the second two terms a3 minus a2 is equal to a4 minus a3 and so on. If all of them are same, maybe some d, then these numbers are said to be in AP. And this difference is given a name called common difference. Using this logic, we can form a generalized notation for this series. If I take the first term as a1, the second term is first term plus the common difference. So I could write as a1 plus d. Now the third term is the second term plus the d. So we can write as a1 plus 2d. And following the same, it will be a1 plus 3d and so on. So the nth term will be a1 plus n minus 1 d. This being the first and this is the nth term. Let me give you some examples. Here we have a series 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. If you look at the common difference, 5 minus 3 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2. The consecutive number difference is same. Therefore, this is in AP. Here the first term is 3 and the common difference is 2. How about here? Here, 5 minus 0 is 5, 10 minus 5 is 5, 15 minus 10 is 5. Again, everywhere the difference of the numbers is same. Therefore, even this is in AP. Here the first term is 0 and the common difference is 5. Look at this. Here, 3 minus 1 is 2, 7 minus 3 is 4, 20 minus 7 is 13. Here the difference between the consecutive numbers is not same, therefore this is not in AP. Now let's learn how do we find the sum of n terms in AP. For this let me list out all the numbers. The first term is basically a1 here. The second term is a1 plus d and the list goes on. Similarly, we can write the first term in terms of the last term. Something like a1 could be written as in the last term if I remove this, it becomes a1. So I can write a n minus n minus 1 d. Similarly, the second term is from the nth term, we can just remove n minus 2 d and the list goes on. Now, when I add all these terms, this becomes a1 plus a2 plus a3, so on till n terms, nothing but the sum of n terms. So s n, which is on the same lines, if I do the summation over here also, even this becomes Sn, which equals to, let's assume that this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now, when we add both equation 1 plus equation 2, the left hand side we have Sn and Sn. So, it becomes 2 times of Sn. On the right hand side, you see that this term gets cancelled with this term and all the terms associated with D will be cancelled because we have a positive D, we have a negative D. Here we have positive n minus 1 2d, here we have negative n minus 2d. So all these will be cancelled. The leftover elements are a1, 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 n times, a n, a n, a n, a n, n times. So this becomes n times of a1 and n times of a n. Or I could write it as when I take n common, a1 plus a n. And when we take the 2 over here, the s n is basically n by 2 a1 plus a n. This is the formula to calculate sum of n terms in AP. By expanding the nth term, we can even write this as s n equals n by 2, 2 times of a1 plus n minus 1 into d. Here we have a question as in gate 2008 that p is sigma i, where i is from 1 to 2k and i is odd and similarly q is the same but i is even where k is a positive integer then the following options if you carefully observe they are talking about integer summation which basically is a arithmetic progression so when we write for p the first term is 1 because it's odd the common difference will be 2 because we can take only the odd numbers so 1 3 5 and so on and the number of terms here we are saying it as k so for this the sum of n terms will be, when you solve this, it comes to k square. On the same lines, when you solve for q, 
the first term will be 2 because it's an even number and here the common difference is again 2 because it's 2 4 6 8 and so on and n will be k and here sn will be this becomes k square plus k from these two we can write p is k square and q is k square plus k therefore if i substitute this over here we can write q is p plus k or p is q minus k that's option a